In this video I'm going to show you how to make a podcast visualizer using audiograms with Canva. Here are some examples of what you can do. I have the pro version of Canva which gives me access to premium audio visualizers but you can also make basic ones using a free version. I'll show you how in this video. So let's get straight into it. Okay the first thing you want to do is go back into Canva. So I'll just close this down. What I'll do is open up a fresh document. So if you go into the Canva homepage, click on videos, I'll do a 1920 by 1080 video. Although you can chop up your podcast and make them square for Instagram or any other social network. I'll start from a blank one. What I want to do first is change the background to black. The reason for this is because uh, a lot of the podcast visualizers on here have a black background. So I'll just change this color to black. I'll also add some text by clicking the text button over here. Okay, I'll just select this one. If I click on it, it'll appear here. I'll just type in new podcast. Now I'll just add some text to the page and fill out some important details. You might want to add your episode number or the title of your podcast here. I'll just change the sizing and the font of the text. I won't go into too much detail. I assume that you might already know the basics of using Canva. Now what I'll do is click on elements and then find a podcast image that I can also add to the page just to make it slightly different. Now what I want to do is add a picture of the guest. So here I'm going to use frames. I'll search for frames in the search box and then take a circular frame and just place it on the left hand side of the image. Then what I'm going to do is drag and drop a picture of a guest. I'll just find that I've got one already in uploads. Just click and drag it onto the frame and it will automatically resize to the shape of the frame. There you go. There's the guest. And now what I'll do is I'll press C for circle. Now I'll just add a shape to the background just to draw attention to the picture. Okay, next thing I need to do is click on videos. And in the video section, you can use the search bar to search for the actual audiogram. So there are multiple search terms this could come under. I tried a few of, few of them and I found out audio wave is probably the best one to use. So now you get a list of stock audio waves. Most of these are on the pro versions of Canva, so you will need a license to use these. If you don't have a Canva Pro, click the link in the description and you can get a 30 day free trial. There are a wide selection of these. If you don't find one you love, you can try Soundwave. Soundwave, or it could also be known as Audiogram, Audio Spectrum, Audio Visualizer. Generally, I just prefer Soundwave. Now you can find one that fits your background because I have a black background. I'm going to add a black and white audio wave to it. So it's just a matter of clicking and dragging that onto the page. Then I'm going to resize it and place that here. Now, if I go down and press the play button, it should play. And you can see that that plays at the top. The trick here is to find one that's loopable. And most of these are so that you can add your audio and then duplicate this over and over again and it will keep looping along the same timeline. So if you had a white background, you can just add a white one here and that would work on a white background. I prefer this one, so I'm just gonna add this one back in. As I said, just click and drag. Lastly, you want to add your audio. You can either upload your audio here and then go into upload media, add your podcast. I've got a bit of audio already added, so I'm just gonna click and drag that to the timeline. Again, you just click and drag to readjust it and you can make it shorter or longer. Now, obviously your podcast is not gonna be two minutes long. It might be several minutes long. So what you could do is take the top track, copy and paste it, and then keep doing that. Oops, I added an extra page and then go to the end, click paste and it will make it as long as you want to match the length of your audio. So as you can see here, once you get to the end of one scene and the start of another scene, it transitions seamlessly because this audio is loopable. 
If you have the free version of Canva, I did find one audio wave that was free. So if I go over to here, you can find this under and here it is called sticker dash n dash wave dash shiny. If you search for that, this one is free. As you can see, there is no crown on that one. So you can use that one completely free. And the good thing is it is see through. So you can place it over any background and it will work. So it works on black, white, or even in this case, this template that I made, this one has a moving background as well. So there you go. There's some options there for you to create an audio wave here. I like this circular one. They have this one that's playable as well. And I just added a frame and put someone's face over it. So yeah, just play with different ideas. It's just a cool way to turn your podcast into a video for you to add to YouTube. So there you go. If you found this video useful, feel free to like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next one.